ESPN 760 on WPTV News Channel 5. Think, uh, he's going to be walking Conchita in traffic or something. I mean, yeah. can you imagine how bad he did the mom? Yeah, I was about to say it was a really nice story. Yeah. Until the son part. Yeah. Like that's so nice. She's leaving money for all these for people all these, that helped yeah, her worked, during the course of her, her life. That's true, and a lot for the dogs, yeah. which uh, I love dogs, but. But yeah, not for the son. Three but million. NBA Finals going on, yeah, and one of the former Lakers was here today in South Florida. Game seven of the NBA Finals between the Lakers and Celtics is underway right now in Los Angeles. But one former Lakers standout was in Palm Beach County earlier today to help out an old friend. Eldon Campbell, who had more points in a Lakers uniform than anyone else in the 90s, was in Jupiter, assisting his former college teammate, Kevin Wills, at the Jupiter Christian Basketball Training Camp. The former Lakers center had an intriguing prediction for how Game 7 would unfold. It's the craziest thing I had a dream that Boston, uh, Paul Pierce missed him. <laughs> I don't know why I never dreamed about basketball like this, but I had a dream Paul Pierce missed some free throws at the end. So, and they lost, so if they do, I'm prophetic. <laughs> Well, it remains to be seen whether Eldon's dreams come true, but the Lakers and the Celtics are currently in a defensive battle in the fourth quarter, 64 apiece right now. Kobe Bryant has actually been terrible in this game. Ron Artest has been great for the Lakers. It's unbelievable, 64-64 right now in the fourth quarter. Two years ago, former Cardinal Newman football star and current Cleveland Browns safety, Abram Elam founded the Team Elam Foundation, which aims to end violence in the community by promoting positive values for kids. Tonight, Elam's foundation kicked off its third annual Team Elam Charity Weekend. A number of NFL players joined Elam and others at the Capitol Grill in Palm Beach Gardens tonight for the weekend's opening event. The festivities will continue all weekend, and for Elam, a Riviera Beach native who lost three siblings to murder, instilling positive values in children is essential for a safe community. Yeah, I feel like, you know, with all the things that I've been able to overcome, you know, it gives them hope to know that, you know, I'm from the same surroundings, same background, and was able to move on and be successful, and I feel like they can do the same thing. They play with these guys on the video games as far as Madden football and to see them in real life giving back. They're, they don't have to pay a dime to shake their hands. They don't have to pay for an autograph. They get a free smile and a free hug, and I think it, it means a lot to the kids. The first round of the U.S. Open began today at Pebble Beach as part of our top five with five three-point.